Welcome, thank you for coming everybody. We've got 25 pipers here and uh, five instructors. So, I'm Andrew, I'm the founder of the dojo and you probably already know plenty about me, but Carl, you might not know that much about. Carl is a co-founder of the dojo. He's the kinder, kinder gentler dojo. Uh, and then right next to Carl is Robert Matheson, great pipe major. What is Dojo U Cruise? It's basically a bagpipe school on a ship, right? But uh, we, what we really are trying to do is make it a genuine vacation fused with a bagpipe school. I live in Noblesville, Indiana, just outside of Indianapolis. I am from Memorial, Nevada, which is technically in the middle of nowhere. I'm from Denmark, Europe. This Things are blooming. It's warm. <laughs> There's no snow. <laughs> Our snowbanks are about this tall by now. I'm from New Hampshire, it is snowing like hell in there as well as in Leominster. <laughs> I'm a Montreal boy, born and bred, now living in Bath, Ontario. Well, all things considered, really easy getting on the boat. Cruise life seems like it'll be much more enjoyable than this. made it to sunny Fort Lauderdale. Smooth sailing. Cheers. What's your busiest time of year, I think? Usually for us it's June. How is it uh, positioned in the year relative to uh, your piping? Great, actually, because especially this time where it's, it's based on a pipe band setting, because I have time to go back and try and implement some of this into the band before we get onto the real deal, you know. What's your favorite feature of the ship? There's just so many of them. There's, uh, I love the the uh, the garden walk area. It's it's phenomenal. Go sit outside. You're in the shade and the beautiful breeze. And of course, you have all the uh, different beverages or food that that they bring to you. So that's probably my favorite part. Let's just do a bunch, see what happens. But that's fine. I'm a little bit slower at reading music than probably most people, so... I know it by heart, but I just find myself trying to catch up all the time. But I know, I know, in a couple more days, I'll have it. Yeah. We told you it was going to be fun being in a pipe band. That was just to get you to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to be in charge, and I'm the pipe major, and I'm not frightened to go back to prison. <laughs> a point of interest over the years, in the number of times we were successful in the World Pipe Band Championships, we were most successful and most dominant when we had a higher proportion of steady eddies. The more gold medalists and good players we got in, the less efficient the band became actually. 
Wow. As a team. So we're tracing the air as it goes through our pipes, right? So the first thing when we blow into our instrument, the first thing that has to be foolproofed is your bag, right? That's the first thing the air kind of comes in, into contact with. So if I ever forget what my four questions are, I can always double back and just picture the air. Like, okay, what's the first thing I need to check? Okay, let's check my bag. How do you do that? There's actually two, there's actually two ways to do that, folks. Okay, the, the, the first thing we would do is cork it up and make sure it's airtight. But once we've done that, we can go the next several days, maybe even the next several weeks, just utilizing common sense, right? Tuning is funny. Everybody wants to tune their bagpipes really well, right? But you have no chance at getting your pipes to sound good unless you've done this. You know how like people lick their reeds a lot? Like the, lick the reed and like slobber, and Rob was doing the sides. Like that's a t really temporary thing. There's a great way to lick your reed the right way. And this is just my approach, but the best way to lick a reed is to get some moisture in your instrument and then let it rest. Play for 10 minutes and then put them down for 10 minutes and don't touch them. The moisture that's in the air will just kind of, over the next few minutes, it'll work its way way down into the reed and uh, the reed will take its natural shape again once the moisture gets in. Having played pipes for several decades, I can't think of a better location for learning the Great Highland Bagpipe. The atmosphere is fantastic, uh, the dojo system is right on the bunny, uh, and the, the students just love it. And you can dip in and out, you do a bit of serious piping, and then you go and enjoy the cruise. It's just fantastic. I like doing more and more piping because I've enjoyed that so much, but I also have to balance it and make sure my wife, who's with me, gets to do all the fun stuff too. I went to Haiti and I swam in the sea for the morning while he was busy. I've been into the swimming pool really early every morning, seven o'clock. And I've really enjoyed walking around the running circuit, trying to keep fit. Um, I've enjoyed the trivia and just relaxing and meeting people and the food is amazing. <laughs> I did a little bit of shopping. I used the fitness area, which is really nice. They've got some yoga um, classes, so that was fun to do too. The trip has so many different things to do, so I have done trivia, I've played bingo, and I've just laid out on the sun. Incredible.
challenging. Fabulous. Fun? Uh, I have to use two words. It's probably too short. It's the thing you need. I can't give you one word for it's that. Good. I've learned every, something from everybody, and it's just been a really good experience. You all have different things that you've shared with us, so I mean, that's the real benefit to me. Everything has been so nice, and just I've learned so much. It's helping me on an individual basis, too, so I might not be so uh, terrified going into the tattoo with all these other pipers. But it's made me more confident. I'm actually considering competing. It was very exciting. It was probably the best piping experience that I've had so far. And it was exhilarating to be on the helipad with all of these wonderful pipers. I think being with this huge group, I wasn't feeling as tense as I normally am when I'm doing a gig. I thought it went great. Um, I was really nervous beforehand, and I didn't think I could do it. But once we started tuning up downstairs, and we started playing up on the helipad, I just did it. There was no more nerves. I enjoyed it. It was so much fun. On behalf of Gibson Bagpipes, it was a pleasure and an honor to be in the class with all of you. And just as important, if not more important, it was, a, it was an honor to be able to collaborate with the dojo. Really great job this week. Thanks to everybody for coming on the second quasi-annual dojo cruise. I think uh, despite your greatest attempts at resistance, you've all developed quite a bit as pipers this week. So good job.